This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. One of the great ways of organizing content inside your Catalyst project is, of course, to use the library. And we're going to take a look at that in this exercise. So could you open the library.fxp file that's located in your exercise folder? The library is kind of a neat place because what it does is it holds all of the components you'll create, all the uh, images that come in, all the video, anything that goes into your presentation or your Catalyst project will actually show up in the library. And the cool thing about working with a library is that objects in the library are available to every state or every page in the Catalyst project, which means they can be reused. So I'm just going to uh, change the view here. So I'll just uh, go to the Fit Artboard so you can see what I'm doing. Right here, you can see that uh, I got a small problem right off the bat with the library. That's an image. And if I uh, come over to my project library, you'll actually see that that image really is called Obatanga PNG. And that may strike you as being a bit of a problem here because I've got an image and I'm going to have to put it in a folder, but I want to make sure that it's appropriately named. So I'm just going to name this image Obatanga Pick. And now that I've named it, I'm just going to slip it back into the main folder. Now you'll notice that I've renamed the layer, and if I come to the library, it has not affected the name of the content. The really cool thing about library items, even if you put them all by themselves on their own layers, it's the layer name, not the object name, that will be affected with any change. Okay, as you can see too, the uh, library is quite well organized. All components that are in here, I've got buttons in here, I've got a scroller in here, I've got three images. There's uh, Burnside Lake, there's Obatanga, and there's actually it's Fungus Lake, but that's for the hiking page, and then there's an FLV in here. And if I were to bring an audio file in, the audio would show up in here. And then optimized graphics come in as well. And these graphics, as you remember, are all coming in to me courtesy of, yes, you guessed it, the Illustrator or Fireworks symbols. Now, you can use these things, as I said, over and over and over. So if I want to create a new blank state, there we go, just click that button, new blank state, I can actually quickly create one of these pages just by simply clicking and dragging stuff into the uh, page here. So if I want to go with the uh, head, which is right here, I can just put that there. There we go. And we'll put that at the bottom. And we'll take the head and we'll put that up there. See? And I'm not adding to the file size because this stuff is already in there. And if I want to uh, you know, add the home button, in here, sort of drag it out, there we go. And then the hike button, and let's uh, do the paddle button. And the really cool thing is, if I double click on one of these buttons, it's already got states in it, and I can give it interactions because the interactions are applied in the state, not to the object. So if I take these three and align them using the align panel, so we'll just, uh, do that, there we go. And we'll spread them out a little bit from the horizontal center, there we go. And of course, we need to have that little star in there, so that would be right there, there's the compass. We'll just put the compass up here where it belongs. And we really should have an image in here, shouldn't we? So let's go up to the images and let's grab, now let's grab the uh, Burnside PNG image. So as you can see, the library is great. It's just a tremendous way of managing content. It helps you to keep things where they belong. You only need one of everything, so you can keep reusing content. And by using one of everything, the beauty of working with the Catalyst library is that by having just one of everything, the file size is kept very small and very manageable.